So I think sleep plays an important like you not sleeping, especially if we don't really know like what's going on with you mentally. It can also increase your your like it can make your mental state worse because you're not getting the rest that you need right. and your thoughts are now chaotic and as much as you think you're being creative because you're thinking about a whole bunch of shit there are ideas coming to you but you can't like like you can't yeah, use the, you can't yeah, process them it's, it's and not, yeah. differentiate between what idea is good and what idea is just like you throwing darts at and the, the crazy thing is us at like as a society uh we make fun of uh, the twenty four eight. No, we make fun of the you nigga. You went to bed at nine thirty last. Like, like what? Bro, I have to. <laughs> I have like, to. Like, I literally have to have a sleep routine, or else if I get if I get caught up in that twelve a.m. hour and I miss my my little ten to eleven window, bitch, I'm up all night. Yeah, and I'm fighting sleep now. Yeah. Now I'm looking for something to do, and I'm like, oh well, you could you could stay up. But what I've noticed is it makes me more chaotic. Again, back to the wedding, didn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. I probably got like maybe two hours of sleep between Thursday and Monday. Chain smoking them blackies. I didn't have black in my at the time. <laughs> but I really couldn't sleep. It was like I was in a state of panic and high, high nerves. Like I just couldn't sleep. But that affected me. Moving forward. Yeah. So I can't imagine people going days without sleeping. And Meek Mill said it on his album. He ain't sleeping seven days. Bitch, what? How are you still? You're a zombie. Those those are the drugs. That's different. <laughs> like Those are the drugs talking. That's different. That's, but, hey, but it's crazy. Because yeah. we always put this. Uh, we put this weird ass aura around that, though. Like. You remember when niggas was going hard, there was no days off, and Jeez. those were only people with I'm going to take a break. Like, and then I'm like, fam, like, you sleep when you're dead, and it's like, no, sir, you probably should be, like, not working so hard and giving your body time to rest. Right. Because <laughs> this don't, like, you, you're you burning yourself out, and you don't even, you may not even get to enjoy the fruits of your labor or your hard work. Yeah. And uh, it was, it's crazy to think that, like, we put this stigma on, like, not taking care of your mental life. Right. If I if I if I woke up this morning, I'm okay. Like if you woke up this morning, you blessed. Yeah. You but moving. also. So when did you? I'm a little fucked up. When did you feel like it was a problem for you, like mentally? Like when did you notice like this isn't normal? I need to get help. Uh. I don't know because because I know we talked about it last. That was 2020, right? Yeah, but You're it's going been to therapy. Like, I've been like this. It's been like this forever. Like, like being in high school. Like, I used to like stay. My mom worked there too, so she left the house at 11. So like, now I'm up at 12 because ain't nobody gonna tell me to go to bed. And so now I'm doing like I'm up all night, then trying to do homework at three, four o'clock in the morning to get ready to go to school. Uh, in college, and like I'm up all night watching TV. It don't matter. Eight o'clock class, sleep through that. You know, whatever. Like it's been like this forever, and so I don't know if I've like ever put it together until like recently. Every time we about to die. Every time. But like, uh, the, they coming for me, maybe. Like, come to take me to get checked out. But like, it's just been a thing for where it's like it's been a thing. But like now, recently, uh. I don't like it. I don't You're like it. I, with it. I started to see it was a pattern of me like being up all times of the night. And I think that has my my ADD because when I get started on something, I need to do it right then and there. Because if I don't, I'm gonna forget it. Even if I write it down, I don't tend to look at things. So, have like you that. been diagnosed with ADD, or no. do you feel like I can see like just from the research, I can see all of my all of the symptoms. Like I. Uh, very sporadic like if like we in a conversation and i have an idea i have to get that idea off right now if an uh, idea for a uh, uh, ta merch design come up i have to do it right now and i have to do it perfect because if i don't do it right now i'm not gonna either a remember what i did to do it b still like the same concept when i come back to it or c don't remember what the idea was that's true um and actually for you, 
I noticed that. Yeah. Because if I go into our creative folder, like there yeah. are tons of things in there that you're like, you know, we're asking for different things. We need different looks. Yeah. You know, we coming out with merch and stuff. And it's just like stuff that just gets started, but it doesn't get finished. Yeah. It's like you almost have that thought. You go in there, you do it. And then you're like, well, it's four, I don't feel like I like it's it anymore. It's 4.55 in the morning and mm-hmm. I probably shouldn't be up doing this. Let me take my ass to bed. Yeah. So now I'm going to bed that urge or that excitement that I had ain't there no more. And I'm like, very, like, I'm very jittery sometimes. Like, I find myself in social settings, like. The no, other night you said you had a panic attack. I did have I thought I had. I was starting to have one. It might have been a panic attack. It might have been an anxiety attack. But it just felt, I was very, I just felt closed in. Like, for one, I, I'll be honest, I ain't a mask guy. Like, I try my I best. I hate wearing a mask. I try my best not to wear this mask. And I know we supposed to be wearing this mask for the safety of other people and ourselves. But I just hate that shit. And so, but I do like to abide by rules. So when I go in the public, you know, I put my mask on. But I'm just, like, standing there. We was in a crowded restaurant. We had our favorite spot. And, Love that spot. And I'm standing there, and, like, he was in front of me. But he was, like, he gave me enough space. But I just felt like I was crowded. And so I'm like breathing. I'm like feel myself breathing heavy behind his mask. Like, and I'm like, why the fuck do I feel like this? And then I look over at the six group of white girls. Don't no, none of them got a mask on. I'm like, bro, you know what? Fuck this. And I like took the mask down, and I just still felt this weight. And so I was just like, I gotta go outside. Mm-hmm. Like I just had to go outside, and I said, like, I, it got to the point where I had I had my headphones on, and I was like playing anxiety music. Like to help calm it down because I was, I thought I was about to freak out. And so I like had to go outside. And of course, as soon as I got outside, somebody wanted to talk to me. But it was like I needed to, to break away for a little bit. And it felt like, like I just, I, I'm just like this jittery thing. So when I felt closed in, it was weird. Yeah. It, it felt real weird. And do you remember what thoughts she was having? Um, fuck the mask. Uh, what I it was really more so like I I could I feel like I couldn't breathe like I was trapped in and so I was just like man what the fuck is going on and I'm like looking around and it was noisy and it was a lot of stuff going it on. it was a there. lot going on it wasn't was, our normal like we go in we got a regular line it's regular people they had the tables pushed together it was weird it we was find a word I don't even know it's it. just I just it and I this don't usually happen well it happens sometimes I ain't gonna lie about that it don't happen that often but it just it was one of those times where I was like no nah, I. I I didn't feel ashamed doing what I had to do. Yeah. Because any other time, I probably would have just tried to thug through it, you know, not be the guy that leaves the group and go outside. You know what I'm saying? Because me and my sporadicness would have just went outside, not said nothing to nobody. But, you know, I'm trying to change. You know, I think we we all kind of just give you a space to understand. But the, the advice that I received, because I, too, had those feelings around the wedding, I felt like I had multiple panic attacks like leading up to it during it afterwards like it was just a wave of just like panic anxiety i don't know if i'm using the right ter- term but everything you described were in your chest getting tight like for me it was like thoughts of like oh my gosh i have to do this i have to do this i don't have time i forgot this like and you just think in all of those thoughts and then you find yourself hyperventilating and you can't do anything like it's a pain in your chest i've had like this I feel like the entire weekend I was like, yo, my chest hurts. Like that's how much stress I was under. But when you're under that amount of stress, you sit there and you inhale. And I think it's important to mention that the inhale has to count. It can't be a shallow. It has to be like a deep. Also, also. Like you're smoking a black and my, I think that's what I was telling you. Just or you're like you hitting a blunt. If you hit, bro, if you hitting a black and my that hard, your lung is chopped liver. That is nuts. You got Salisbury State for a living. <laughs> for a lung. Your lungs are Salisbury State. 